All right. Well, conditions haven't been great for ice fishing on Lake Simcoe 2024. It's been unseasonably mild. Conditions on the lake are sketchy at best. Today we saw a window where we figured we can get the machine out there safely. Matt from Outdoor Junkies picked me up right in front of my house and we ventured out a few kilometers out into the lake. And the first like kilometer of the ride was absolutely wild. Like it was pretty crazy. The conditions are nuts. It goes from like the craziest pack ice you've ever seen. <laughs> and then to straight black ice. Such a crazy transition. And the black ice looked scary, but it was a solid five to six inches everywhere we checked. So we felt comfortable being out there. The weather was cold. Ready? What is that? Five, Five and three, three quarters. quarters. We were fishing anywhere from 18 to 30 feet of water today. We started, our first spot was in 18 feet. Oh. So before we ever set up the hut, especially in the shallows in the north end of Lake Simcoe, you want to make sure you're not on some there it crazy, is. janky rocks. That's the spot. We are directly on top of the mound. Usually I set up right here. Yeah. Gives the fish a vantage point, they come up on top of the cliff, they see your jig here, they shoot down like a rocket, and you put a thing of a jig through their nose. Yeah, little boulder over there. So yeah, oh, a couple rocks, I see. That yeah, big rock right there. Yeah, this spot's like my favorite. So yeah, we want to be on a flat bottom for our jig so you can get a good reading on it, and you don't want it to make it too hard for the fish to get your jig either. If you're on too janky of a bottom, lose touch. You lose touch with your jig and the fish can't find it. They'll spend five minutes trying to eat it and then just take off. Matt missed the lake trout before we even got the cameras going. Missed him. I freaking slipped. Huh? Was it a laker? 100%. He smashed me downward. As soon as I, I didn't even get the bottom. I know. I seen it happen fast. I seen the bump in your rod. I don't know how I missed him. Oh well. And he also caught a white fish just as I was getting the cameras going. We got white fish. Oh, it's perfect. You're going out the door. We're eating dinner tonight. Nice. That's over. You lose. Take your time. He's hooked in the nose. He's not going anywhere. I was kind of hoping just the famous last words. Come here, you fool. Look at all the sh** he coughed on there. Right on. Oh, stalker. Number one, just for fun. That's how it's been all year, man. Like, you just, like, you mark them, you barely get the bottom. Take him a jig for the win. And I also caught a whitefish in this one spot. Forever. They're constantly swimming. Yeah. I want to go there at night. Fish at night. Oh, Laker. Still there? Oh, yeah, Whitey. Oh, you're going to get him. Yeah. Oh man, he's so aggressive he can't get the bait in his mouth. There he goes. Watch that eat clear as day. It was beautiful. I was just watching the graph. Man, he just was biting the whole time, like snapping his jaws. It was a tank too. Yeah man, good fish. Fish on! That was crazy the way he was biting. Was he just snapping at it? The whole time, man. Like his mouth was biting. There wasn't even anything there. Oh yeah, he's right in the beak. Right in the nose. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Humpback, Notre Dame. Yeah, that's a good fish. Look at all the stuff he's coughing up. Any guesses on weight? Probably seven. Seven, yeah. I would say, yeah, probably seven. Let's see. Oh yeah. Humpback, baby. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. Not my <laughs> first white of the year because we got some in the boat already. What? First one through the ice. First one through the ice. That's first right. mark with his line down. <laughs> yeah, first mark. Batting a thousand. Right on. 
Let her go, I guess. <laughs> Send them. Yeah. Send them to the abyss of hey. 15 feet of water. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Well, look at you looking at the camera. <laughs> But we weren't marking the fish in the frequency that we wanted. You know, we'd like to be marking a fish like every five to 10, 15 minutes, like ideally, which is great. And if you can continue that all day long, you're gonna have a banner day. We were marking fish like every 30 minutes to an hour. So it just wasn't quite good enough. We decided to, uh, to keep on moving to try to find the, find the mother load. Holy, your drag tight or what? Yeah. It's tight, it just he slack lined it so hard. <laughs> he was a two feet off the bottom. <laughs> Small one, eh? I guess. Wasn't bad, 15 minutes. <laughs> He's not that small. <coughs> no? No. Frig, the way you pulled him off bottom was just nutty. He just came up so fast. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like a dart. No, that's a good whitefish. Nothing wrong with that, man. On the thingamajig. Crushing them. Hi. The next few spots in the day were, you know, in that 30 foot range. And it was a lot of fun. Like, we did really well. We're using his thingamajig. Uh, one there. Burbit. Oh, yeah. My hole's so frozen over. No, picked it up. That's a bourbon. Can't be, picked it up. It's a bourbon, I'm telling you. They can pick things up off the bottom. I've never had a bourbon in my life pick it up, but yeah, he's not fighting like a whitey. That's a white fish. Is it? You don't even know your fish. <laughs> You're an idiot. I didn't even have a rod in my hand when I stole that fish from me. You're getting rusty. I'm getting rusty. Matt's getting crusty. Small one? If it is, I'll cry. Kept a big old greaser. Yeah, he's definitely an eater. Well, he's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's a gold boy. Pretty standard. Wow, uh, he's a lot smaller than the one I caught. Yep. Yeah. But whatever. What'd you catch that guy on? A thingy jiggy. Thingamajig? That's a scrap one. See the indents in the back? Oh, yeah. That's a reject. That's a reject. If you guys haven't heard of it, go to outdoorjunkies.com and you can get yourself some there. Or Tromblaze Tackle Box has some as well as Elwood Epps, and maybe a couple of the other retailers around Lake Simcoe have them. I'm not 100% sure who has them and where, but these things are the real deal. Like we caught, I batted a thousand. Every single fish that marked that came over to me, caught it. I think every fish that we marked bit. He's got one. He scared him off. Missed him three times. Times. There he is again. There he's back. Yeah. No way you're gonna try that again. Oh yeah, he's gonna bite it. Four times. Oh, you see that? He's probably just touching your line. I think so. Yeah, the fish is not giving up. He's gonna catch this one. There's gotta be rocks down there. Try lifting it up. There he goes, he's on. Fish on. See, yeah, it's gotta be a light, okay? I'll let you go, I'll call you back in a sec, Ray. Alright, alright. Here you go. Oh, I'm getting to work on Oh, I thought you wanted me to record something. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Here you go, bye! <laughs> We have a bite ratio of basically, you know, if we mark 10 fish in a day, we're gonna get at least eight bites. So in our eyes, that's a pretty excellent bait. Uh, that's exactly what you're looking for. When I'm talking about the bite to catch ratio, that's exactly what I mean. You want, if you mark a, a fish, you wanna be getting a bite. And that's what's so exciting about the fishing out there right now. It's not like hot and crazy fishing by any means. Um, it was, definitely a grind of a day but every single mark that we see bites so 
it's hard to complain when that happens because you know when you see a fish you're getting excited that you're gonna get a bite it was awesome we fished like six different spots had a lot of fun I don't know what else I want to even talk about okay thank you so much for watching this video of me and Matt ice fishing we'll see you in the next one Bam.